Meghan Markle is due to give birth this month but she has broken a string of royal traditions during her pregnancy. The Duchess of Sussex is expecting her first child with Prince Harry in April or early May. Meghan has been showing off her blossoming baby bump since announcing her pregnancy to the world last October. However the mother-to-be has broken a number of royal traditions. Former actress Meghan traveled to New York in February for a baby shower with her celebrity friends. The 37-year-old spent five days in the Big Apple and was spotted at a number of swanky venues. Her extravagant baby shower was the highlight of the trip and it took place at exclusive hotel The Mark's Penthouse Suite. Stars on the guest list included George Clooney's wife Amal, Meghan's former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer and tennis legend Serena Williams. But baby showers are inappropriate for members of the firm, according to royal expert Victoria Arbiter. She said that as the royals are very wealthy, a lavish baby shower would be seen as highly inappropriate. There's nothing they can't go out and buy themselves. Meghan shared her baby news as she landed in Australia with Harry for their Commonwealth tour last October. During her pregnancy she has also travelled to New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga, and Morocco. However it is reportedly an unwritten rule that pregnant royals should travel as little as possible. Another tradition is for the gender to be kept secret but there are rumours the Sussexes have found out if they are having a boy or a girl. Pink decorations spotted at Meghan's baby shower prompted speculation she could be expecting a little girl. Earlier this year, Meghan insisted they were keeping the tot's gender a surprise. In the past, royals gave birth at home but the Lindo wing has become a new tradition. Princess Diana and Kate both opted for the private maternity unit and posed outside with their newborns. But there are claims she could shun the Lindo wing for U.S.-owned hospital The Portland or Friendly Park Hospital which is closer to Frogmore Cottage, her and Harry's new residence. When the royal baby arrives the Queen should traditionally be told the news before anyone else. However there are reports Meghan's mother Doria Ragland could be at her side for the birth meaning she could be the first to know about the new arrival.